hi guys welcome to the new course the react js so in this video we're not gonna write any code or install react js in our desktop we're just gonna see what is react js what is the need of react js and what are the features that it provides that, and here we can see what are the features that it provides so first of all what is react js react js is a javascript library for building user interface what are the features that it provides declarative component based learn once right anywhere but this doesn't mean like anything that we know what it is what what it does so i'm going to show what the what this all means so before react uh, there is a paradigm is going on it is a traditional page life cycle in which whenever client wants to know or uh, re send a request to the server side for a page for a home page or for a shop page for an e-commerce website the server will send the files like html css js that is javascript file to the client side and whenever the client will change something again it will send the request to the server side and again server will send the uh, respective files to the client side so this is well this, this is a problem here because in here there is a congestion problem network congestion problem is going on here so for removing this a new concept comes that is the single page application in which what happens that client will uh, send a request for a website or for any page the server will what do that it will send all the files required or all, all the files of the website or web app html css javascript to the client side and the client will change something anything in the website it will be uh, modified in there in the client side it will not send a request to the server and again request some files new files it will all be uh, changes in the client side only so that's what single page application and so in single page application the frameworks that are come on come under like uh, you know like uh, angular and our react js and view so now what happens if we see in the angular js like whenever we building a big or uh, massive uh, uh, and web app like facebook well it is built on react js but if angular js is built on before 2013 that is a 2010 version of angular js in which what happens that uh, the uh, the angular js is built on a concept called model view controller in which what happens the files or the folders are in a systematic way controller means which controls the model model is the like the data or the structure of data and view is the view that you are seeing in here so that's how angular js comes but the complexity is very much in the previous angular js version what it is the problem here that whenever an event calls in here and if if the events will be reflected back to in in this in this component let's say this is a component in this component and it should be reflected back to this component and again a new component arises here and again this should be reflected back to in this place so these are this problem occur in the angular J, in angular js previous version so the developer have problems like uh, how to debug these problems so now our react js come into the picture so what react js do like it provides four concepts uh, four concepts four key concepts that solve all these problems 
first one is declarative so declarative just means like uh, react says don't touch the dom i will take care of it that's what react says like what is dom like what is dom yeah uh, dom means dom document object model what it is like it's an architecture or a tree like structure of this view that you are seeing in here this is the structure that you are seeing in here this is the structure that you are seeing in here and this is what written in here so this is the document object model so what react says that don't touch the dom and all the functionality will react to so whenever like we change something in here like tutorial or docs the event will occur in here like you can see in here like docs tutorial you can see that uh, some manipulation or some modification is done in here so what the problem in angular js that uh, uh, whenever we change something or in, in change something it will be changed directly or changed directly directly to the uh, component or the tag yeah tag yeah like uh, we use uh, something called like document document dot get element by id get class name by tag name so this thing called like we are injecting something to the uh, component div tag or span tag that directly to the uh, page so this is so this is no problem there is no problem with this but uh, the problem is that it will become very um, uh, very hard to see what's going on here like uh, let, let's say we, uh, let's uh, we have said like uh, whenever we change something in here and it should be reflected back to in here it should be reflected back to in here and something occurring in here and it will be reflected back to in here so these problems uh, is uh, solved by react.js so what react.js do like it create a state you can see in here when you see in here design simple views for each state in your application and react will efficiently update and render just the right component when your data changes so whenever your data changes and if it is a component or right, this is a component this is a, another component in here it will change separately to this component in here so that's what declarative means in here uh, we will see what it is very uh, uh, describe way like in our code so now it comes the component based so what react does like it will uh, use the component like it is a reusable re component it provides a feature of your reusable component in which like this can be used in here we don't have to write the same code for in here and in here and in here it will just a simple component and it will be created in here in here and any place that it requires it will also be uh, uh, using another, another web app you can see in here this is a component you can see this is one component and you can use this company in any place that you want and also this is a state that you have uh, that i have said uh state which is uh, which is says that this company will be have a state of this seconds equal to zero this is uh not to worry right now so now third one that comes that is learn once right anywhere what this means like whenever you learn this 
react concept or react fully you can use this react js in many places like in many platforms you can use in react uh 360 uh, 360 is a uh, react vr uh, for vr app this is for vr app and also react native that you have also heard you can use in the react native also there is react desktop which is used for building apps for uh, windows mac os so that's what it says like uh, you can use this uh, this react in many platforms so that's what these features are and one thing more that uh, in any like uh, you are using any browser just uh, uh, use this plugin or just install this plugin that is called react developer tools what it will do like uh, we can see in here maybe uh, like i have uh, already installed it and you can see the uh, picture uh, the icon in here this is the react icon and you can see it is in blue color but you can see this is not a blue color because it says or it depicts that the app that you have built is of uh, uh, is built on react.js or not and in here this is just uh, like you can see it it's a, a dom and you can in here see its components this is a virtual dom uh, well you can you can say well it doesn't depict what it is saying but uh, whenever it is an like development mode mode you can see what it is so that's how you can see and one thing more that uh, uh, react uh, provides like this is the why it is not a framework and why it, is it a library because react is smaller like it just provides the base of the ingredients like base to build upon this and you can use another libraries like how to use the router and uh, how to uh, syst uh, syst uh, systematic way how to use the state and many other libraries how to use the uh, libra uh, library for UI more uh, effective UI so it's just a simple base that react provides and all the other ingredients you can provide later so that's what react is and i hope that uh, after after uh, this video you can uh, let's uh, let's use the code and uh, let's uh, start coding and we will see that it's very much fun and uh, very interesting to use react yeah